So you went out and bought your own baseboard heater. You're not real sure how to hook it up because of elect electrical reasons of it. Now there's... You got to make sure you're doing this correctly. You got to make sure you know what kind of baseboard heater you bought. Now there's different kind of voltages you can buy. For one, you get 110 volt like I do have right here. Or for more of a heating process, it might be a 220 volt, which of course in the basement requires a 220 volt breaker. Uh, this one right here is 110 volt. So we got three wires coming in. We got a hot wire, which is your red wire. We had a neutral wire, which is your black wire. And then you also got your green wire just buried back in here a little bit farther, which is your ground wire. Now for this to work properly, you gotta make sure they're all hooked up hooked up to the right connections, which these should come with a with a brochure, a book, telling you exactly which ones are hot, neutral, and ground. Before you even think about messing with this, make sure your breaker is turned off in the breaker box. Don't want no injury no no injury to happen while you're trying to mess with this. And if you're not fully comfortable, don't be afraid to call your local electrician. He'll come out and, for a small fee, show you how to do this. Especially if you have the wire pulled yourself. Hot to hot, neutral to neutral, ground to ground. Make sure you ground your units properly or else you might run into problems in the long run.